Hello Booktube, for sure I say Biblionauts. I'm back, or I think I'm back. And I just wanted to sort of like make a first video. I didn't want to wait any longer. I'm still on the island, I'm still working. I'll make a video saying what I've been doing and what I've been reading uh, some other day, but today I just want to say I'm back. Hello. <laughs> I, I do still exist. I am still thinking of um, a Booktooth and I'm still watching videos and I will probably respond to some of them in the next uh, coming weeks. But um, I've also been absent. And I've been absent as a choice that I made um, that was completely conscious and that I think uh, hasn't led to so many changes in my life or in my mind as I expected but I think was very good I had a very interesting summer a very different summer I had spent quite a few no, not quite a few but like uh, a couple of years um, on Booktooth and also constantly reading reading every day for multiple hours or almost every day for multiple hours uh, or studying if I was not reading in the more leisurely sense um, and this summer everything stopped because I came back to my previous life my life in the sea my life uh, working in nature again I will talk more about that in the in some other video but um, the reason why I did that uh, not going back to the sea and uh, sort of like disconnecting from reading but disconnecting from this from this device that you're seeing me from is because I am and I have always been very aware maybe not always but at least for the last 10 years I've been very aware that this is a uh, drag and this is uh, both um, a tool with a lot of potential that can also be turned into a weapon like many others that we use every day the difference is that this one uh, has an intelligence of its own and it has the capacity to control you and I did not like the relationship that I had with it and inspired by a book uh, that, uh, that reminded me of all of those things and others and told me about others that I didn't like um, about this device that we all carry with us and that has become an extension of our conscious minds and subconscious minds um, I decided to yeah take a break uh, that the book was um, uh, surveillance capitalism I think uh, I don't remember the full title but something like that surveillance capitalism um, the book was okay you know I'm, I, I have a video recommended I think it was definitely one of the best books of, of its year but uh, more than the reflections on the book it's the reflections after the book the the bringing back uh, concerns that I had about myself and about the limitations on both my active life and my cognitive abilities uh, that made me want to take that break and as I said I didn't notice a significant change but I like having done that and I think on this first video I'd like to just you know encourage you to become aware of what things around you are um, what things around you you might take for granted as sort of like activities that you do or things that you have available that in reality the relationship that you have with them is toxic in a drag sort of way because I feel like we live in a moment in which many things around us are not necessarily engineered to control us but definitely we have a drag relationship towards them in the sense that they create an addiction on us and they have the capacity to make us dependent or we become even codependent toward that thing if that thing has uh, the capacity of like reflecting that, de reflecting that dependence back on you and um, yeah they modify our days and sometimes uh, the way in which these things change uh, how we go about our day or about our lives is positive and in the case of Booktooth I have come to the conclusion after spending some time without actively participating in this uh, community that it is positive for me to be here and to be making these videos otherwise I would not be back uh, although I'm coming back in a different way but I'll also talk about that in some other time um, but some other times it's not positive and the only way to know that is to experiment, to take things away and put them back, to, to sometimes get to know yourself more empirically. Because it's very easy, and this happened to me before, because I'm a very, I'm very self-confident, I'm very, um, I trust myself a lot, sometimes a little bit too much. I've actually been close to death uh, quite a few times in my life because I over, I tend to, overestimate um, my capabilities and uh, because of that it's very easy 
to to say nah I, of course of course I I can do this and then you you can lay back in the comfort of that claim and never actually prove it well uh, this is what it was this is what this was this was a way of proving to myself that I was able to not engage on, on this constant chatter that sometimes happens in social media um, which is not to say not to receive information not to use the phone I will probably do that at some other point in my life but it became impossible for me to get completely rid of the phone which was my initial plan I did do that on Scotland but I didn't do it uh, when I was um, doing the other winter trip that you probably know about um, but I didn't do it this time because my job requires me having a phone and being abroad requires me having access to my bank and that's where the codependence sometimes can become positive, right? Um, uh, there are certain uh, uh, there are certain examples in, which, in biology where uh, um, some parasitic uh, relationship between two um, organisms becomes symbiotic and, and necessarily in a positive way improves the overall um, system and in some cases that's the case with technology in, in others is not so that's what I was trying out um, yeah and I don't know I'm probably not so used to speaking to the camera anymore but I hope I made sense on this video I'm not expecting to be telling anything new to anybody it's more like just saying hey I'm here this is what I wanted to say um, I this is why I haven't been here before uh, in the last few months I have been reading although not as much interestingly I thought booktube was uh, affecting my reading negatively but it was actually positive because the fact of looking forward to speaking to people I parasocially knew uh, did help uh, in the uh, motivation that I had towards reading but my desire to read did not really decrease at all and I've been thinking about it for a while however I've been also doing something really cool um, that uh, to me is much more important to the, even than reading, which is writing. Uh, I've returned to writing regularly, very recently, and uh, because of that I probably will not be so proactively uh, posting videos about books that I read, because I'm not reading a book a day or a book a week like I did before and after that. Um, but I'll be around, I'll make videos here and there, maybe on a more yeah, let's, let's talk about our different video. <laughs> this is all I wanted to say so far. Um, I am changing some things in the way I relate to this platform and those will probably appear uh, organically as I go about my day and as I move forward in the next months. Uh, I will be changing location um, quite a few times as it's already become a uh, constant. That's the only, <laughs> that's the way in which uh, you can find some stability in this channel is in in the fact that they, there is never a stable, stable background or anything like that um, but yeah I feel like I'm rambling now which is uh, it's a very familiar feeling when it comes to me talking to a camera <laughs> now that's how you know I am actually back uh, so yeah I'll, I'll make another video very soon I encourage you to maybe question or wonder about uh, whether there is something in your life that you need to remove to see from outside, from, from a distance, how you relate to it and see how your body responds to that and see what you lose and what you gain by having or not having that around you. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely, just to conclude, I definitely would not trust myself um, to know the limits of what I can or cannot do. It's good sometimes to test if that is true and it's good sometimes to also not um, just like it's not good to avoid responsibility I don't feel like in booktop in this community specifically I don't feel like there's a lot of people who just does the more common takes the more common route of uh, self-compassion like a uh, toxic self-compassion or or just blaming others of our own decisions whenever those decisions lead you to like not reading enough or not doing whatever it is that you're not doing or starting that project not writing the thing that you want to write I think that is uh, a lot more common in this uh, particular community to rely too much on self-control when self-control might have been um, might have been the thing to rely on in the past when you have an open front of things that were hostile uh, to 
to the life that you wanted to live or do the things that you wanted to do and you could always respond to that front with uh, your own self-assertion of, of the inclinations of your will. But right now we don't live in a world where we only have one open front. We are surrounded by very different fronts and each of them is claiming our attention and ready to distract us. And uh, the way that drugs work is that they, you don't become addicted to drugs because you take them when you are feeling... Uh, by the way, when I say drugs, it's not because I'm addicted to any drug other than uh, technology, um, which is the one that I was testing in this case. But yeah, they are there and it's in the moment where you don't expect it, when you lower your guard, that suddenly you find yourself uh, relating to that in a way you didn't want. So self-knowledge is a lot more important, I think, in this case. To know how far can your determination or your will go, how far can you uh, move in one direction before you lose the will, before you lose control of the will. You are not always at the will. We are not always conscious throughout our whole day. Uh, many of the things that we do in our day are an autopilot. And of course, we want to aim to be present throughout our lives, but the truth is we can't, uh, especially if we are not uh, very accommodated or very privileged. Many times we are doing 10 things at the same time and it's very easy among those 10 things that there might be two or three that just sneak in uh, because that's the job of many, many uh, people and AI in the world right now that are um, completely focused on sneaking into your day and taking hours and taking time from you and taking money. After all, that's, that's what, it, what it's all about. Um, so yeah, first know what you can and cannot do. First know um, what you need and what you don't need and what you want and what you don't want. And then you can apply self-control around that. But sometimes, uh, you know, if, uh, even if you can climb a mountain consciously, sometimes not having to do it uh, I feel like now I'm definitely not making sense. I'm not gonna keep saying metaphors and, and expanding on a topic that I've been thinking way too much and I've not um, scripted anything about. So I'm just gonna leave you here with that unfinished sentence. And yeah, have a nice day. La nice to see you again. And uh, yeah, let me know what you've been thinking about in the last few months. Uh, what's occupied your thoughts and your time. And did you choose that or was it taken from you? Without further ado, have a nice day and I'll see you on the other side. Thank you.